hello 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 my beautiful people i am here to do your water sign reading for the second half of june sorry july my bad i'm a month behind oh my god um so we're gonna start out with some spirit messages okay and we're gonna see how this goes i don't have anything specific planned so let's see what's about to unfold okay so this will be for water signs cancer scorpio pisces and sun moon rising um and your venus sign as well okay so check your natal chart see where your venus is and if it's in water this will resonate with you okay spirit what messages do you have for our water signs working in their highest gift their highest favor asking for messages full of unconditional love light truth clarity healing understanding asking for clear direct messages please Please protect our energy, our space, our frequency, our aura, and our soul family as we enter into this supreme, divine, sacred space. Thank you so much for your clear messages in, in advance, okay? So, Spirit, what messages do you have for our water signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? Okay, please, this message is general. It may or may not resonate with you. If this does not resonate with you, please check out some of your other zodiac signs to see how it resonates, to see if the story will collide, all that. Okay, please, 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 if it's yours, take it. If it ain't, leave it. Okay, let's hop right in. Spirit message for our water signs is... <coughs> Sorry, excuse me, aura of love. It says the union of light and dark of earth and sky balancer of anima and anima the merger of, the, of two souls acknowledge the masculine and feminine aspects of yourself both yin and yang to create the perfect balance and some of you guys are finding balance or finding peace within when it comes to you guys is um spiritual body i just feel like you guys are coming into union um and this this manifests spiritually first and then it manifests into um, the physical. For others of you guys, um, you guys are really needing to focus on finding the balance between maybe you guys are being too aggressive or maybe you guys um, are being too soft hearted. You get what I'm saying? You guys are needing to find an equal balance um, when it comes to the divine masculine and feminine aspects of yourself. Okay. Um, I, I also feel like some of you guys are needing to pay attention to where it is that, um, you need more healing and more work when it comes to your divine masculine side, the ego or the divine feminine side. Okay. So, um, with that being said, you have instincts, make sure you're paying attention to your instincts. You guys could have good news coming in. Um, follow your natural instincts. You are making the current situation more complicated than it needs to be. Trust in the universe. Allow your intuition to guide you. You are always safe. And I feel like if you guys are fearing whether or not you're safe, um, you guys are protected, safe, protected, all that, okay? Second half of July, Spirit, please, for our water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. What's their current blockage? For the second half of July 2021 current blockages forgiveness and then quest and right now you guys are needing to go on a journey of self-forgiveness and I say self-forgiveness because before you can forgive anyone else you have to forgive yourself um, you have to take into account accountability for what or what you could have done or where you could have been um, better or where you have um, quote unquote let your own self down because I was gonna say failed but um, where you guys have let yourself down you guys are needing to go on a soulful journey um, a, a, a journey to self um, okay so forgiveness is needed and this is where you guys are needing to find balance forgiving forgiving the ego and embracing your intuition more okay so with that being said guilt look releasing guilt this is a this is a blockage for you what is it that you're currently feeling guilty about what is you're holding on to or you're attaching yourself to when it comes to your um inner healing that guilt card who, who is it that you need to forgive who are you blaming are you blaming yourself you get what i'm saying and where should the focus be where should the focus be collectively for our water sign? Second half of July, sun, moon, rising, and our Venus. Ooh. 
that's a lot. Hold on, let's see. Where should where should I focus be or the focus? Because I ain't no water sign. Okay. Well, I'm a rising cancer. Where can I create more space? Okay. You guys are needing to pay attention to um, maybe decluttering or detoxing mentally, spiritually, physically, and emotionally. Instead, of, It says, instead of filling yourself up with busy work and things to do, create more sacred space in your schedule, in your home, your mind, your lungs, and in your heart. Take time to just be. Do a clutter detox of your schedule, home, and innermost self. Make space clarity will come okay so if you guys are seeking some type of true or clarity or understanding especially when it comes to what it is that you're holding on to subconsciously you guys are actually really needing to clear more space and the asters will be revealed to you slowly but surely you guys are needing to find balance you guys are needing to find balance for giving space okay create more space so you can find balance so you can have an energy of um of of clarity come in okay so let's hop into the luck portion of the reading nope i don't want to use this deck yep no i don't because i'm trying to get into my decks that i don't do and spend more time with i'm trying to get into my decks okay what is this that just wants to come out this is a star okay you guys look listen what fulfillment can only come in if you have room okay and that's also saying you know um stay focused on what it is you're trying to manifest okay wait a minute i need to ask the questions yet okay spirit what message did you have for the collective when it comes to love let's look at the current obstacle and blockage when it comes to love for the second half of july the nine of pentacles and this is you feeling confident in yourself when it comes to love this is you loving and nurturing on yourself um when it comes to love it truly embracing who you are this aspect of yourself needs you to be in a relationship or singing single um you oh maybe you guys are needing to sing or listen to some some type of music but um when i see this nine of pentacles i just feel like liberation is needed or feeling free you get what I'm saying with this nine of pentacles and that's the blockage. The blockage is you feeling free or just feeling living in fluidity. Um, the six of pentacles. Are you giving to yourself equally two of pentacles? What, what is it that you're currently juggling and battling? Because I feel like this is just a cell phone right here. Okay. Too much time on the phone. Put it down. Um, and then and then in this card, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says love more love more and i just feel like you guys are needing to give out that energy of love so the energy can come back to you um and this is heart and then here there's pinnacles you get what i'm saying and i feel like there needs to be equal give and take so the abundance can come in um so let's see what's on your person's mind okay and your person is whoever it is you're thinking about at this time while watching this reading okay death Ooh. and three of swords i don't know if you guys are going through a breakup okay but your person how does your your person whoever it is you're thinking about you guys have went through some type of breakup or a separation definitely three of swords with the death card and i just feel like you guys you guys are needing to be in the energy of manifesting new okay yeah you guys you Whatever happened, you whatever relationship this was, what, whatever long-term commitment, baby daddy, baby mama, I don't know you, okay? But I'm just saying that you guys were needing to cut out things that um, were blocking your flow of abundance from coming in, okay? For my singles, who are what is coming towards you? Okay, that's the Wheel of Fortune. That was already flipped over, but I'm going to take it. And I feel like for my singles, I feel like for you guys, you guys have love coming in or you guys are, it, it's just like the, every, it, whatever it is that you want, whatever it is you're trying to manifest, whatever pause, stop, delay, if you guys haven't been really on a dating scene, if you guys have been wanting somebody to come in towards you, especially with this chariot, things are going to finally start moving forward. You have King of Pentacles energy coming towards you, King or Queen, take it how it resonates, but you have someone who's very loyal and, um, and I also just heard submissive, Lord, okay okay or some of you guys are need to be submissive 
um, to this energy that's coming in because this energy is going to be very serious when it comes in this will of fortune it's saying this is what you've been asking for spirit is about to give it to you okay whatever pause delay or stop that's over because the chariot and the will of fortune is here now okay and let's just look at collective energy for what is coming towards the collective when it comes to love second half of July for our water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Venus, Sun, Moon, Rising, second half of July for what is coming towards them when it comes to love. We have the Page of Wands, okay, and this is flirty energy. Look at that. Not only are they going to be flirty, they're going to be real spicy, that Queen, that Queen of Wands right there for what is coming towards the collective. This is communication also coming in too. Someone could be, ooh, ooh, Lord. Uh. So we have the Page of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the Five of Wands. I feel like whatever, this is an argument, breakup, separation, because this is Ten of Swords. It says divorce right there. Somebody could be leaving, going in a new direction there um, with this Ten of Swords energy. There could be a breakup. Somebody could be giving rings up, throwing rings. I just seen somebody throw a ring. Somebody could be packing their bags, leaving out the door, not wanting to leave, going back and forth, arguing. Like I feel like blaming each other too. Um, this page of wands, it could have there could have been some type of delay. I don't know why, but I feel like this page of wands has something to do with a kid. Ooh, this page of wands is a child. You guys are arguing over this child. Don't do that. Don't be arguing in front of this child over the child or what so have you. You know what? Maybe you guys need to talk about it when you guys um when you guys can. But with the two of cups here at the bottom of the deck, some of you guys are leaving this situation shit to go towards something that's more fulfilling. And you guys were in this situation and this was blocking this connection this whole time. Um <laughs> And, and I feel like, um, cause I just heard cross watcher. So if you're watching this and you're a cross watcher, this could be what your person is going through, or this could just be what's going on in this, in the background. You get what I'm saying? This person could be going through a breakup separation, or they could just be, um, yeah, definitely going through a breakup or separation because this is what's on the person's mind. That what's on the person's mind, what they're currently going through is the death card, the three of swords. This is a breakup. Um, so collectively, there is there there's some tension within the collective within you guys' relationships. Um what else? The lovers. Mm. We have the lovers and the king of wands. We have the queen of queen of wands earlier. I just feel like um this ten of pentacles here, the two of pentacles back to the six of swords. I feel like okay. Just take this how it resonates. I feel like in the past, there could have been love here in this situation. But because the King of Wands is here, there this person this person is serious. Maybe they... Be, maybe they ugh, break down this. Let me use a different deck. Tell me about this lovers. Damn, this is the temperance. It, it wanted to come out in reverse, and I feel like when it comes to this this situation, this this relationship has been out of balance for so long. And the four the four of pentacles is here in reverse because now it's time for us to finally release and let go of this cycle. Okay, I'm saying this because sometimes you know shit shit happens. We get caught up in this situation. Okay, um, but the four of pentacles here with the justice card with the will of fortune for a long time look something wasn't moving something wasn't going forward something it was stuck it was stagnant um someone just finally gave up on the situation and it's like they threw in the towel and i feel like this is how it was all supposed to unfold especially with this five of wands there with the ten of swords the ten of swords is back here because there was just a lot of um sideline bullshit there was miscommunications there was arguments there was pointing the fingers there was cheating there was deception there was just so much shit going on within this foundation of this relationship and look the nine of wands is here twice there's two nine of wands in this in this and i just feel like at, at, at some point you have to realize when it's time to let let go and release something and i feel like for a long time you guys have been trying to hold on because you guys were looking at this like oh this is my lover my soulmate we got kids blah 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 x y and z but you you got you gotta let this go it's time for you to forgive and heal from the situation that's why the second half of of um 
of July is forgiveness. It's time for you to forgive and heal from this situation. Go into this King of Wands energy. Two of Swords. Look, and he battled with this for a long time, coming up as the King of Pentacles. He battled with this for a long time. He went back and forth for a long time because you guys were in a long-term committed relationship, but it never worked. Will of Fortune is here. You guys went back and forth. There was a lot of in and out of this relationship. One minute when you guys were together, next minute you guys wasn't. One minute you guys arguing, love, and, and the next minute you guys wasn't. And I just feel like when it comes to this situation and how it's going to unfold and is you guys finally need to detach and let go, regardless if you guys have kids in the situation or not. I just feel like... But you can't allow the child to be put in the middle of this. You get what I'm saying? Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't don't try to keep the baby away and don't try to use the baby for the person to stay. You, you know what? Just don't. That that no. No. No no no. No. Um Yeah, and it's like no matter how many times this person tries to walk away from the situation, it just kept coming back around because you guys never fully closed the cycle. What you guys would do is you guys would argue, fuss, fight, point the finger, do all this, this, that, and the third. But at the end of the day, we'll come right back to each other because you guys have love. But in all actuality, in all actuality there was really no love. You get what I'm saying? Um, go into this lover's card one more time. There was really no, there was really no love. Look. There was there was really no love. The 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 king the knight of swords in the back of in, in at the bottom. There was really no love. There was only sadness, heartbreak, pain, confusion. There was a lot of manipulation going on in this relationship. There was a lot of distance, separation. Look, the moon and the hermit card. There was a lot of secrets. There was a lot of truth being exposed. There was a lot of guilt. There was a lot of pain. There was a lot of hurt here in this relationship. The Queen of Pentacles. She didn't know how to love herself, but she thought she she did not. Okay, for some of you guys. For some of you guys, this person, <laughs> this person, this person, this person, this person. Break down this Queen of Pentacles. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over and over in their head. And this person, you would keep taking this person back because this person wouldn't let you live down what you did in the past. Because maybe in the past you were a player. Maybe in the past you couldn't, you, you, you had commitment issues. You get what I'm saying? Um, this queen of pentacles held that over your head. And they would play this, oh, and you did this to me and blah, blah, blah. With this um, outdated thinking, conditioning, blah, blah, blah. Um, outdated conditioning, replaying events over and over in their head. It was like they constantly will remind you of the things that you didn't do, wasn't doing, ain't doing, so on and so forth. And I just feel like um, that's why in this relationship, you guys never got a chance to look. And then we have the runner and chaser energy here, rekindle. Um, I just feel like, give me one more for this King, Queen of Pentacles energy. Wait a minute. There was something here. So we'll go turn this back over. Um, hold on, because it was it was just a lot over here. Okay, listen, did I do it right? This Queen of Pentacles energy, and I feel like for some of you guys, um, you guys would you guys would go back and forth when it's like the more the King of Pentacles will run will walk away from the situation ship and say, you know what, I've had enough, I can't do it no more because they've been in their thoughts in their head about what they want to deserve. I feel like the when they walk away, this person will try to give them love, and then when they start, when the King of Pentacles is like, okay, fine, we're gonna make this work, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, vice versa, take it how it resonates. I feel like this person um would give into this relationship then when they were only walking away and then when they started to come in they would go back into their own ru routine that's why it says outdated thinking condition replaying this over and over and head it's like a continuous cycle um give me one more for the queen of pentacles it says welcome in love meeting the one open and hard getting together perfect oh give me one more Um, I feel like, like I said, this person will constantly remind them of the times. Oh, and I feel okay, okay, wait, 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 because so many messages come just coming right now. Wait, okay, so this person, what would happen is because they started to leave and walk away, they start to realize like, oh, they must have found someone or you must be cheating. You must be doing this, this, that, and the third. And that really wasn't the case. And and this person, the, the Queen of Pentacles energy, she never fully forgave. She never really um, healed her heart. She 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 always had, she always had this energy at the back of her head, at the back of her mind. Um, 
And I also feel like this person doesn't want you to go anywhere either because they don't want to see you with anybody else, but they don't want to love you either. They they don't want to forgive you. They don't want to heal. They don't want to do this. Um, they don't want to give this relationship a chance fully, but they also don't want you loving anybody else, especially with this deeply sad, hurry, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. I also feel like this person knows that you found someone else or you're who take how it resonates either you found someone else and your person is using this energy against you like oh trying to make you feel bad or whatever um trying to just say oh my heart's broken all this and this now oh i can't live without you i don't know what i'm gonna do and blah 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 trying to play this guilt trip many options but this person has other things going on okay they have other things going on they have other fucking things going on, so be careful. Um, tell me about this King of Pentacles, or this is just what's on the back of their mind. It's like, they know you're keeping your options open. They know that you ain't giving into this relationship. Knight of Wands is in reverse. They know you're not giving into this relationship. They know you're not loving them. They know you're not wanting to be with them. They know. You get what I'm saying? And since they know that, they try to use that against you, and that's what brings you back into this relationship. Um, oh, shit. Y'all got my head itching. Okay, tell me about this King of Pentacles energy. And then I'm going to wrap this up. I'd like you. Looking at pictures. Uh-uh. Give me one more. Okay. For others of you guys, this was a third-party situation shit for some of you. For some of you, um... This King of Pentacles has met someone. That's why the Two of Swords is there. The Two of Swords is because they're caught in between um, the past and the present. You get what I'm saying? They found someone that they truly like and this person knows. I don't know if they went through their phone or what so have you. But they know that they found someone else. Okay? So the King of Pentacles has someone on the back of their mind that they want to be with. That they think about all the time. But they're just caught in between the two because there is a relationship, a remarriage, long-term commitment, what so have you. But when I see this, I like you. Someone like you. Romance blooming fun flirting wanting to date i feel like first of all both you guys are in the same energy i feel like this person wants new love they want to be happy but they don't want to see you happy and vice versa you don't want to see this person with anybody else but you don't want to be with them either it's like you 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 need to figure out what it is you want okay but it says this relationship is over no second chances grow trans transform your life i also feel like for some of you guys the the divine masculine the king of pentacles um I just feel like whatever they've been going through in this relationship, they know and realize that this relationship is over. And if this is a third party situation, I just feel like this person always keeps you on the back of their mind, looking at their photos, missing you and styling you, making new memories. And I feel like they do a lot of reminiscing and thinking about you. Give me one more for this King of Pentacles. It says sabotage, rebuilding, interrogative, repetitive, persistent, working on it. Self-indulgence. Okay. So... Yeah, so I just feel like this person wants to work on something. For others of you guys, you guys are in a relationship. And even though this relationship is over, they still have feelings about you. They still think about you. They still want to be with you. And they want it. So for those of you guys who are in a relationship, know that this is your story. And you guys are in a relationship. You're having a hard time with moving on from this person. This person is having a hard time moving on with you. Moving on from you. They may be selfish. They may be thinking about themselves, but they really want to work on this relationship. They don't want this relationship to be over. Give me one more. No. Because I just, that's just not how I see it. Look, competition, clever, malicious, looking over shoulder, shoulder the other woman, the runner, seduction. I, it's a third party situation. Um, that's just not how I see it. I don't see you guys being in a relationship and all. Oh, I miss you and you miss you. But that's how the cards. If you're looking at the cards, yes. But how I'm reading it intuitively, I just feel like this person is looking at this relationship as done over. I'm tired of you um, using this, these lies, these excuses, whatever happened in the past. I'm tired of you using this against me. And I'm ready to go on towards something new. And the more we try to fix and work on this relationship, the more sabotage we bring. You start watching. You start stalking me. You start... Um, Look, gaslighting, you start telling me, oh, uh, making me feel guilty about not being wanting to be in a relationship with you. This is that and the third. And I, all the while, this person has somebody on the back of their mind. That's why competition, enemy, clever, malicious, looking over, show, third, looking over their sh shoulder to the other woman because they have other things going on in the background. And this is why they constantly run away from this relationship. The, the the third party relationship, if you're in the third party watching this, they constantly run away from you because this situation ship and... Um, Listen, 
Okay, let me pull y'all best advice and get up out of here. Earth, nope, earth signs, sorry, because this is like earth signs. The um, king and queen of pentacles is earth signs. So let's, um, or you guys could be dealing with the earth sign. Best advice for the collective when it comes to our water signs for the second half of July, when it comes to love, let go, not the right time. You guys are needing to let go. It's not the right time. You guys have a new opportunity coming in, okay? When it comes to love, okay? When it comes to love, you guys are needing to let go. You have a new opportunity come in, okay? In general, best advice. Perfect timing. Understanding that things are happening to you, for you in the perfect time. Everything is up to you on what it is you want. Don't stop. Trust that some, there's something better. So in general, in love, what so have you? Let go. It's not the right time. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Everything is happening for you in divine timing. And that was a spirit message as well. It's up to you. Don't stop. Trust. Okay. Romance, success, take action. Okay. So I'm going to leave you guys there, Earth Signs. See you later. Peace.